Welcome everybody who is joining me tonight through Facebook and welcome if you are watching on YouTube. So tonight, the night before the new moon, which happens in about uh, six hours, no, eight hours time, then uh, we're really in the portal and this is why I wanted to come on tonight and just talk to you about this new moon in Leo and to help support you through it a bit. So if you are on, please do say hi. And if you did last night's workshop as well, let me know how you're doing. Was that not amazing with the archangels healing out grief? I mean, I've been processing it a lot today. I know some of you will have just got the files sent to you because you're on the distance option, but there was nearly a hundred of us doing that. And wow, it was so powerful. Um, the build up to this new moon really has been. And of course, it is a new moon in Leo. So uh, what is this all about? Well, you know, those who follow me regularly will know that I do monthly new moon workshops and Orangus does the gong bath with the beautiful universal gong behind me here. And tomorrow night is all about returning to our authentic star nature. And what does that mean? Well, we are born from the stars, okay? We are all seeded from the star systems and now it is time for us to let go of the inauthentic parts of our earth personality so what that means is that we are playing out personas we are playing out conditioning we are playing out past lives we are playing out ancestral patterning and we are playing out through our ego drivers but no more this is the start of the next six uh really well five months but it's a six month intense period the build up with all the astrology that is going on so really it's the return to coming home home to who we really are and this leo energy has got the fire in it that is going to allow us to catapult forward to make these inner shifts and inner changes. So it is a great new moon to write the list of all the things about yourself you're not happy about, if there's any thoughts and feelings that you have that you no longer wish to be holding on to. Why is all this coming up? Well, it is coming up because this new moon in Leo is burning bright the fire energy to show you what is inauthentic in your life and limiting you. Okay, so really this um, new moon occurs in the UK, British summertime at 3.42pm. As I said, we are about eight hours away from eight, nine hours. Um, and it's, uh, it's all about awakening the Christ consciousness light in your lower chakras. So that's your air star, your root, navel, sacral and solar plexus. And the, the Lion's Gate portal opened us up to more spiritual freedoms, awakening us more to the cosmic Christ within. Now, Christ is nothing to do with Christianity in this sense. Well, it is, I suppose, because Jesus, Jesus got the title of Jesus Christ because he was carrying, he was the anchor of the Christed light. But it's nothing to do with the formal religion of today. The Christed light codes, the Christ grid around the earth, is the light of pure divine love in its holiest and purest form. And so this opportunity for us to return to our authentic star self means that the Christed light is going to be further awakening in our DNA and it's heralding the opportunity for us to assimilate and return to our original star nature. So tonight I'm going to because I'm an Arcturian, <laughs> that's my original star nature, I'm going to do a healing with this beautiful Arcturian, which is a mahogany obsidian. So mahogany obsidian is quite a rare crystal, and it is a fiery crystal because it's volcanic, and it's got the red in it to work with the root chakra too. So we're going to have a healing with this um, so that you can... Uh, for all you Arcturians out there, you'll get a blast of the Arcturian healing, but also for the rest of you, the Arcturians are all about light technology and they're all about shining the light 
into the darkness so you can see where you are being inauthentic. Now, this is quite an advanced spiritual concept, but all of you who follow me are already well on the path and you have the understanding of such matters. But if you don't, you're thinking, oh, what is she talking about? Well, you know, we, we have come to Earth as humans as part of an experiment. You are a vast soul, full of galactic knowledge, full of many lifetimes of training and wisdom. And then you petitioned to come to Earth and you came on a mission for a purpose and reason. And at this time, millions of us came for the purpose of returning to source, returning to our true essence and to really steer the consciousness of humanity into this place of returning to the fifth dimension and returning to this, this place of a living in the, the higher matrix and the higher dimensions and detaching ourselves from the, the lower energies that are holding us back. So lots of ego kickoffs going on with people this week and well, sort of the week before, but particularly this week. So if people round about you who you're living with or you're having to interact with start to come out accusing you of things or start to um, just be really displaying egoic responses, then you know their pain bodies are being activated and you're triggering this. And it might be hard to be part of it, but just know that you are playing that catalytic role to allow them to see the, the ego drivers within. Or maybe you, you're going to be displaying some, uh, some ego traits coming up. But it's all about witnessing, observing, a non-reaction to it, except the reaction through love. And how best to love yourself through these experiences, but to heal them. Okay, so it is not about dropping into any ego drama at this time. It is about dropping into the frequencies of love, the star beings are saying. So really what this is all about, this intensity of light that is coming in, it's all about grounding and it's all about self-care at the moment as well. So that we can cope with the intensity of light that is being built up in our light bodies. Many of us have been overstimulated by electromagnetic frequencies and it's been sort of frying our central nervous system and depleting our immune system. And so really it is about us boosting our immunity as well. And so the it's not just immunity as in physical immunity, but your mental immunity, your spiritual immunity and your emotional immunity to get you navigating through this powerful portal through love, okay? And through non-reactivity and just through bliss. And that is really what the energies of this new moon is all about. And I, tomorrow night, in the three-hour workshop, I'm going to be channeling the Syrians and the Orion star beings. You know that I channel the Syrians a lot, but I've done a few courses with the Orions, but they kind of hang in the background. But of course, Orion and Sirius, it's their time. Um, in the sky at the moment and so I'm super delighted and honoured that the Syrians and the Orions have asked me to facilitate this wonderful opportunity for us. Um, so what they are saying is that they wish us to not only uh, remember our true star nature essence, really who we are, but also support you through this um, increasing of the kinetic life force energy that is awaking and creating new neural pathways, so new brain waves, and activating the consciousness of humanity for the changes that are occurring in the Uranian energies, which are preparing the great collective consciousness shift on a global level. So in essence, this new moon is about sorting and reordering to align us to the new timelines of the Earth. So the old matrix is further dissolving. I know it seems to be going on for ages, but it's a process, you know, it's the marathon we are we are in with this. Um, so along with those old timelines that are still there, we're getting back, getting to the dregs of the barrel now. You've done so much clearing and we're just going in for the final, final push really over the next couple of months. And so this new moon is going to be a further dissolving the false matrix and it is going to be giving you the opportunity to step out of this 
as well as bringing forth the solar ascension codes from Sirius. Of course, the Egyptians thought of Sirius as the second sun. And to unlock the new level of the planetary blueprint for our evolution. Okay, so we are going to be taken to an Orion temple where we're working with the divine creator codes. And as we move to this place to see our sort of true star essence blossoming, uh, like a flower opening into bud, it is really going to help us reclaim the ancient ancestry knowledge of our star brethren as well. So it's going to help you remember all that knowledge that your soul has um, from incarnations in the, in the stars. And so it's going to be a really powerful time for us to, to do this. And um, they're really going to work on boosting our meridian pathways as well. And that's how we connect into Mother Earth to through the ley lines and just to receive all her nurturing energy and love it's a tiring week is anybody else feeling knackered i am feeling quite knackered with all the energy shifts i'm doing so much work at night i'm sure i'm not doing any sleep because i wake up i have vague memories of things i see angels around me i see star beings i see the sasquatch up in the forest they all sort of are there and they're working and i'm just like oh poor ringus hasn't had any sleep for the last two nights because Oriel came into the bedroom. Oriel never comes into our bedroom. Last night he had growing pains and sore legs, so woke us up as well. So you're maybe having physical disturbances with your sleep at this time too. But, you know, know that this is a really important time for us all and that we are uh, really being super supported by the, the star beings. And I really look forward to working with you tomorrow night those of you who can dedicate three hours to join me live or if you want to take part distantly i'll be calling your energies in i'm really going to dive deep with this it's going to really bring out a um, really powerful shift for you because we're going to be accessing the um diamond heart codes and we're going to be going into this galactic portal to reclaim the lineage with our newly awoken brain structures so this is really a, a powerful preparation for what is to be coming for us all on Earth. And I know that some of you really thrive with these star being workshops and it will be a full hour's transmission tomorrow up in um, the Orion Temple as well. So we'll be doing the live channeling, I'll be doing your Newman blessings with you, we'll be doing a meditation for preparation, I'll be bringing through their teachings. You'll have your ascension sphere attunement and we'll also be looking at areas in your life as well that are maybe presenting difficulties for you at this time as well as then the beautiful powerful healing and the wonderful gong bath um, to anchor the new moon codes for us all. So you know it is an intense time it really is important to like look after yourself and if you missed the grief transmission last night I highly recommend it. It was it's just an hour's course but it really shifted lots of energies um, that needed stirred up. And they explained a lot about the intensity of this time and why we are all doing this deep soul work, you know, at the moment. So I really look forward to you uh, joining me tomorrow night if you are able to. It's up on the website, elementalbeings.co.uk. If you're listening to this at a later date, it will be recorded. You can download it. And it doesn't actually matter when you do these energies because... These are portals. And so even six months later, you'll still get benefit from it because you're living through this portal. And if you haven't done the work up until this point within that portal that opened at that time, it doesn't actually matter when you, you know, you do it for going forward. So um, that's just wanted to you know, share that with you. Um, and because tonight, I don't know how many, how many do we have on live tonight? 36. 46. 36. 36 okay so a bit smaller group tonight i don't think i'll be able to do everybody but i wanted to share with you this um syrian tarot deck by patricia corey and she channeled it a while ago i know the syrian starseed tarot i'm just starting to get into it starting to work with it so i thought i could do a couple of readings for people tonight as well i'm still using the book i've not memorized it yet and um, well, the tarot is always a bit more of a specialty and I'm not a tarot expert. I can't just off the top of my head say, oh yeah, the five of um, 
swords means this. I know the basics, but I want to do justice to it's slightly different to it's not the usual sweets and things, it's different sweets. So it'll be really interesting to see what comes forward for us as well. So I'll do that later for you to say thank you for coming on tonight and um yeah, just really want to support you through this new moon portal. It's a powerful time. I mean, all everything's powerful at the moment, but uh, we are we're on we're on the other side. We're 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 in the if you think of the bell curve that we're all seeing now all the time for this virus. But we are we're on we're on the downward. We're 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 moving back to some homeostasis of the intensity of this year, and there can be a few peaks and troughs. Um, just as the virus is doing, it's doing its wee peaks and troughs, but we are, we're over the biggest hurdle, is the message the star beings are giving us, and if we do the work now, then it'll be plainer sailing, for the people who are not doing the work, then all I can say for them, and they are not friends with me on Facebook, because all of you are enlightened if you're friends with me on Facebook as well, just hold on to the reins, and hope that you are still holding on by the time we get to the end of it, so it is really time for us all to start to wake up, the star beings are saying, and it's also time for us to wake others up as well. Okay, so the onus is starting to uh, come on everybody to start. The teachers have to come out of hiding, is what the Syrians have said to me. So if you're a teacher and you know you're a teacher or a healer, but you're just, you're just holding yourself back, well, this is the new moon that is going to break you through it. Okay, so... Oh, let's go on and do some healing tonight. Let's um, let's tune in to this beautiful Arcturian skull. It's not for me, this one, which was really sad about, but I got a red jasper one in before. So this is SB83. It's up on the website, 250 plus the 50 VAT if you're in the EU. And it is looking for a home. This is the second last one of this type of carving. And that's no more. The carver is no more. So, um, yeah, if you were wanting to get one of these, I only have this one and the fluorite one left, which is a Lyran one. So we've only got an Arcturian and a Lyran left, but, um, oh, I just love, love her energy. So let's tune in now to this beautiful Arcturian skull and give you all a bit of healing tonight and oh, just allowing yourself to relax. I'm going to play the singing bowl as well. This is the third eye chakra singing bowl. Just taking your awareness to your breath. As you ground your energy. And now. We ask this beautiful Arcturian skull to bring forward whatever healing your soul requires at this time. Greetings, greetings, greetings. My name is Fushimo. I am an Arcturian priestess skull. I carry the wisdom of the Arcturian priestesses. And we are the anchors the sacred feminine initiation. This new moon portal is a great initiation for you all. It is a great opportunity for you to be able to move to this place of confidence within. Confidence in the truth of who you are, why you are here, and to remember all the wisdom that your soul carries. It is important now for you to receive, to receive support, to receive love and to receive confidence within as I offer you my healing transmission now. Just allowing this beautiful Turian crystal skull to work on your energy field.
now the transmission has finished allow yourself to bring your awareness back round into body and when you're ready just grounding yourself opening your eyes and allowing yourself to integrate back into body oh such beautiful healing i felt so much peace and I felt like a realignment occurred within me. I felt, um, I felt that inner me balance. So hopefully you did as well. New star being to arrive, new small ones. So um, there's 12 still up on the shop of the smaller ones. So do feel like checking them out if you're looking for star being guide. I'm going to do a workshop soon on how to work with the uh, star being crystal skull. But another um, about 25 have just arrived as well in lapis and rose quartz. So excited about that as well. So, yeah, what I'm going to do now. Oh my goodness, the heavens have just opened here. It's torrential, torrential rain. I was thinking of going for a nice dusk walk before bed to see the elementals and connect in with them. But well, I'm not going out with that. <laughs> so... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, I'm going to do three people a message from the card deck. So if you would like a card, if you'd like a card message, please put in um, yes please. And the first one's just the word yes please. I'm only picking people who follow instructions tonight with the yes please, and Oringus will. Read out to me the name of the first person. Just put yes, please in. Manon Muri. Oh, Manon. Great. So this is the cards. Um, oh, that one's upside down, so actually they're that way up. So these are the cards, and um, just the first three because I'd be here all night, and I don't know. But it'll take us a while because the cards are. Um, let's see. I'm just learning these cards. So Manon. Is Oh, it jumped out that one. Oh, you have got the six of chalices. Okay, so that would be cups in the conventional tarot. So this is your message from the Syrians. Now, everybody listening, they're listening for a reason. So the um, message will, you know, see where it resonates for you as well. So cups are all about the, the water element, of course, sort of the emotional body. And uh, the oh. we've got the orbs, we've got crystals in here, the chalices, and oh, the cups must be the first one. No, they're not. They must be the last one. So, as I say, I've just got these, and uh, but to me, what is um, what is coming up? for you Manon is the Syrians are saying that this is the time for you to take action this is the time for you to make the changes the card here um, is about as you can see it's sort of the innocence of children with the six cups floating around there and the um, sort of purity of the two of them so basically this is all about how are you being childlike and innocent in your relationships with other and the world around you? Do you recognise your own angelic right, light and do you see that purity in others? Are you open to giving and receiving without fear of being hurt or being rejected? Are you in the now moment in your life? So from your stellar self to your earthly being, with this key, you recognize that you are a child of the universe and you feel the harmony within yourself and with others who are sharing your path. So it is about taking action now to be your truth, to be who you came to be, which is perfect because that's what we've just been talking about that this new moon's energy is all about. So who is next after a man on then? Steve Heidi Fancourt. Okay, your card. Now, so you've got an interesting one. It's the Major Arcana. 
so you may have known it. It's the card, a card that often generates some fear in people. It's the Hanging Man card. Okay, so if you know your um, tarot, but look, this is an enlightened man inside a pendulum and he's got the light in his crown. He's doing the tree pose in the yoga and the the meaning of of this card because i say they are different to the um to the traditional major arcana now the hangman should be about here yeah it is so this star seed is confronted with the possibility that there will be times on the path when he she will need to look at things from a different perspective the hanging man appears to be waiting to be reborn, illuminated and into new consciousness. This is time for you to go into meditation, to go into selflessness and to look for new perspectives. The questions for this is, what do I need to meditate on? How do I need to look at things in a different way? What am I waiting for clarity on? How am I feeling suspended in time? How can I let go of any desired outcome in the matter and just relax? And the last question is, how are you stuck? So, again, this is so relevant to what we're going through with this new main energy because it is all about returning to our authenticity isn't it it's all about returning to our star nature and what stops us doing that is the stickiness of our um, ego bodies our conditioning and our belief patterns and things so it's gonna be a really powerful new moon for you to to look at all these things and obviously the Syrians are really keen to to help us all with that so again two really pertinent cards to what we've just been talking about tonight and the last one Delia Aguero Delia Aguero whose name Fal Fal Faliama oh it's Faliama isn't it um Faliama Faliama so I just got told there right Ooh, again the chalices are coming out so water um the nine chalices so i'll let you look at the picture for a moment and so the light is coming down it's shining onto the the sage and it is actually filtering into him in this case as the the light is coming in through the the window up above to fill up the the nine uh, chalices that are present there so so for this, this one, the Nine of Chalices celebrates emotional abundance. An Egyptian temple guard sits surrounded by his full chalices, loving his world, his emotions and his sensate pleasures. The light shines down upon him and his chalice goblets are here to be enjoyed like a fine wine for the soul. This is a key of great satisfaction, happiness and fulfilment. So, so basically, how are you celebrating the achievement of your dreams and desires? Do you realise the abundance in your own creation and it's always within reach? What situation, relationship or pleasurable encounter have you been feeling, has been helping you feel content and deeply satisfied? So what I'm hearing from you with this is about your soul has a tendency to look at the cup half full sorry half empty rather than half full and it's up to you to acknowledge that okay so i'm hearing from the syrians you spend a lot of time feeling a bit frustrated about what you don't have or what you can't do or what's not right without really celebrating all the wonderful things and the talents and gifts that you have. And the more you celebrate yourself and the abundance within that, then all those other things actually drop away because you fill more, more of that side of the chalice cup up till you're brimming and overfull and it 
floods out any negative feelings that you have towards yourself. And again, that's what this new moon is about. It's all about us, you know, setting down, that breaking down of the further templates, the timelines of the earth and the templates that have been keeping us in places of discontentment, unhappiness, dissatisfaction. And so that's what this new moon is all about shedding. So again, another card that is um, really pertinent to, to the situation. When I am reading tarot, I'm always reading it in a situation, situation, if that makes sense. So I don't sit and read right through a tarot book and, um, you know, memorize all the cards. And I've got so many different tarot card sets and they have so many different ways of reading them. But what I do is I... I use a lot of intuition because let's be honest that's their, their guides and so looking at them all intuitively to see and I think those three messages have just been what we've been talking about tonight so sorry to everybody else who didn't manage to get a message you'll maybe be lucky next time and um, no I won't be taking up tarot reading in the near future <laughs> there's plenty of wonderful people out there who that is their speciality but I just like uh, I like to do it for myself I like to do it for friends and I just, that's another tool to be curious about. But I was super excited to, to get these ones. I just got them in the last few weeks. So hopefully, um, maybe some of you will uh, feel drawn to work with this deck as well. But um, I'm definitely going to be working with them tomorrow at the new moon for the Syrians as well. And I really hope that you can join me there. So the files are out for the grief workshop last night. All the personal messages have been done for the Lamas workshop some of you have been asking about that if you've not got them then send an email to the office info at elementalbeings.co.uk staff will sort that out tomorrow for you um, I'm up to date as of Sunday for crystal skull healing messages so I'll be doing um, the ones for this week tomorrow as well during the day and I am also going to be opening up soon for the soul channelings angel forecast crystal skull messages where you send the picture of your crystal skull through and um, if you want to go on the waiting list for that because you'll get first offer of a space I think there's 14 15 people on the list but it'll just be first come first serve who responds to the email I'll give you first option before the it goes live on the website because last time it ended up a two month wait when it opened up to everybody because so many people booked. So if you know for certain you'd like to have a channeling, they are £100 plus the VAT and 10 to 15 minutes of direct channeled powerful messages for you. You can email up to three questions to ask and um, I'm going to be doing more offerings of that this year, different types of offerings to help people going forward as well. So lots of exciting things coming up, but uh, school's gone back and Arengus and I could do with a rest after five months of no childcare. Bless Oriel, he has done so well to get through lockdown and to be confident to go back into the school. And I know some of you are still in lockdown, so um, hopefully it'll ease up for you a bit soon. And just sending you lots and lots of love. So do hop on, book your spot for tomorrow night. If you're doing it live, I'll be able to do one-to-one um, -one feedback with you. And we don't have so many booked at the moment, so you may be able to get a chance to get a lot of help in the actual live workshop tomorrow through the, the live Zoom call. So this is your opportunity if you want to do that. And I will see you tomorrow night, 7 till 10 p.m. British summertime. Okay, lots of love. Have a good night. Namaste.